Hi guys, myself Ankita. In this video, we shall see another problem on lead code. Reverse string part 2. So given a string s, an integer k, reverse the first k characters for every 2k characters counting from the start of the string. So if there are fewer than k characters left, then reverse all of them. If there are less than 2k k characters are left, then either greater than but uh, the greater than or equal to k characters, then just reverse the first k characters and leave the uh, other as original itself. So the what the question means in summary is, let's take the first example. Okay, with the example I'll explain it. So the given string is a b c d e f, and I mentioned k equal to two. So starting from the beginning of the string. So first two characters k equal to two. So first two characters you reverse them. So this will become b a. Okay. So the next two characters c d. We skip them. Next, you move to the next two characters after skipping two. That is mean that is what they mean 2k. So from here 2k, 2 to the 4 till here. So in this first two you reverse, other two you don't reverse. Next again EF. You reverse them, that will become F E. And next, if you see in the middle, this you don't reverse, right? So just write as it is C D. So the reverse string will be B A C D F E. That is what the given answer is and they have taken g okay so if, if there is a g extra letter over here so once you re uh, reverse ef next two you don't reverse but you have only one so keep that as it is so you return that as it is so this is what the condition they have explained over here this is what we need to implement in this problem so what is the approach to solve the problem so you could see this um, what we are swapping, swapping in the sense we are reversing the alternate k characters in the given string. That is what the program needs to be done. So what we will have is, so in uh, C++ we can directly work with the string. So string can be, uh, it's a, a not unmutable type. So you can change them. But in when it comes to Java, you cannot uh, change the string. You cannot work with the given string. So it's constant, right? So it's not mutable. So what can be done? So in Java, we will convert that to a character array and then do the perform of that, uh, do the operations on the character array. And at last, you return that character array in terms of string. But in C++, directly we will work with the string. That is one, two points that we need to look at. So first we start with the iteration, okay? So for loop, I will start from zero till I less than or equal to n minus 1 or let's instead of let's write i lesser than n here n is nothing but string length okay and the condition what you give is i plus equals to 2k 2 star k why i, I shall explain this so i plus equal to 2 star k so first you start from the beginning of the string right so you have a b c D, e. Let's say this is the given string A, B, C, D, E. Now, what you have to do? You start, you should start reversing first two letters K equal to 2. So, what we'll have is we'll have a pointer int left equal to whatever I you have, and let int right be equal to. So, right, be, right will should be pointing to if left is at pointing i that is this index right should be pointing over here right first index how do you get one it is nothing but if you do i plus k it will move to the second index minus one if you do it will move to the first index so got it from i two positions forward if you do it will move one pointer extra ahead so you come back so you do minus one so you could see here I is pointing to 0. 0 plus k, uh, k that is nothing but 0 plus 2 will give you 2. So I will uh, till right will pointing to second position, but we don't need second position, we need till only first position. So minus 1 will do. So right will be pointing to i plus k minus 1. So these are the indexes. Now what we will do is we will swap the numbers. So y left less than or equal to right. So first create a temporary character. Um, 
in Java, we have to use temporary character. In C++, we have this map function, right? Directly we will use that. So to avoid the ambiguity, we will use this character temp only uh, in both C++ and Java. We will not use any inbuilt functions. So character temp equal to that will be equal to string. Let's say string is string of left. So now string of left will be equal to string of right. So at last string of right will be equal to temp. Okay. This is what the swapping happens. So if one pointer is pointing 0, B. First you store temp in, in temp you store A. That is S of left. Right is pointing to B, right? So now you change S of left equal to B and S of right equal to temp. That is nothing but A. So these two get exchanged. This is how you do. Once you perform done with this, next you have to come to I plus equals 2K. So from here, 2K means 4 position. 0, 1, 2, 3. Fourth position. So these two we have to avoid. So till here it will move now. Fourth position means. So 0, 1, 2, 3 will skip. It will go to i equal to 4 now. So if you check now. So you reverse this. So this cd you won't reverse. Next you have to reverse one e. There is only one e is present. So can you have left and right? Left is i. But right is i plus k minus 1. So i is nothing but 4 here. 4 plus 2. Minus 1, that is nothing but 5. Do we have an index y over here? That is pointing out of the string. So what we have to do? For that only you have to give n minus 1 also the condition. We take right equal to minimum of these two. So, it, so in case if this makes out of bound, then n minus 1 only will be taken. So this is where this helps. So we have left equal to i, right is also pointing to n minus 1. That is the end of the array, same, fourth position, 4. So left also 4, right also 4. And i lesser than or equal to 1, we just swap them. Otherwise, without swapping also, it is okay. Instead of lesser than or equal to, you can give lesser than also. So this is the approach to solve the problem. If we, this example was taken, then EF was reversed. Then again, what you do? i plus equals to 2k. So, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Fine. So here you have it, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 plus 4, that will point to 8th index. We don't have 8th index, so the iterator will stop here. Only. The loop will stop here. So that is, this, this is how we solve the problem. So we will program this now. First, let's have a variable and let's store the length of the string. So next what comes in and the for loop i equal to 0 i lesser than n i plus equals to 2 star key. So let int left be pointing to i and int right be pointing to minimum of which one so i plus k minus 1 and n minus 1 that is the last index if it becomes out of one then we consider only the last index so next y left less than or equal to right so we have to swap so let's store in a temporary variable char s of left next s of left will be modified to s of right so after this s of right after this s of right will be stored in the s of left which is stored in the temp previously so okay after this okay we again just uh, this condition is not uh, you know we have to make s left plus plus and right minus minus why let's say okay a b c d e f g h i Let's say k equal to 4 was given. Then what should be done? If k equal to 4 was given, these first 4 characters only we had to reverse. So a and d should be reversed first. So that will give you d, a. Next to increment left pointer and decrement right pointer. From here to here, here to here. So that is what we have to do. 
that's why we use the while loop otherwise if condition will be had given right so tell you decrement the uh, right pointer and increment the left pointer again swap these two that will give you c equal to a b c it's been reversed next you move to k ahead so it will point here 4 plus 4 8 so ninth character where it will be point yes so next at last return the string s okay yeah and i'll show the java code also yeah just paste at the code okay so as i said before we cannot directly since it's not mutable so that is it's immutable right string is immutable in java so we convert the string to array of characters so when then you get the length of the array so after that again you run the loop same thing left pointing to i and right pointing to i plus k minus 1 or n minus 1 and we use the math function here you cannot directly um, give me so by left lesser than right you store the characters of left in temp then you exchange the values left plus plus right plus is at last since you have the array of characters you have to convert that string a new string a new object will be called and it will be written so we shall submit this Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.